Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about another quant trader interview question. So this question is based on the concepts of probability and permutation and combination. So without wasting any time, let's jump into it. So this question will require some illustrations uh, to explain. So yeah, let's see. So you are basically given an 8 cross 6 grid. So this is di the grid. I mean, I'm not very good at drawing diagrams on computers, so bear with me. But anyways, this will serve our purpose. So this is your 8 cross 6 grid. You are present at the bottom left corner so you are here uh, which is denoted by this red dot you are present here initially and you have to reach the top right corner which is denoted by this blue dot okay so this red dot is your source this blue dot is your destination and in each step you can either move right or up and you can move only along the grid lines okay so you can move only along these grid lines and you can either go right or up now you have to find that what is the probability that you will pass through the center of the grid. Okay, so this is the center of the grid and you have to find what is the probability probability that you will pass through this center of the grid and all unique paths are equally likely to be chosen. Okay, so yeah, let's see how we can solve this problem. So one thing which is guaranteed here is that uh, for going from source to destination, basically for reaching the destination from this source, since this is an 8 cross 6 grid and you can only move along the grid lines and you can only move either right or up, you have to take exactly 8 uh, up steps because like this is an 8 cross 6 grid, okay? So you have to at least, you have to go up 8 times and you have to go right exactly 6 times, okay? So uh, that is guaranteed. So uh, like this is the formal problem statement. You can actually pause the video and uh, see it, what it says. But anyways, I have explained you that already. So yeah, going, coming back to the solution. So as I said that we have to take at least, not at least exactly eight up steps. So I'm denoting that by U and six right steps. So that is guaranteed. I mean, if in case you don't understand this, you can try with uh, pen and paper and see that uh, that is guaranteed i mean any path you choose there will be exactly eight up steps there and six right steps okay so like let's try to actually find what are the total number of paths so uh what we can do like this if you add this eight plus six so this comes out to be 14 so you can as like one way to think about this can be that uh, there is a string of length 14 and that string contains eight u characters which are u and six characters which are r okay a length of a string of length 14 which contains eight characters which are u and six characters which are r now you have to find the total number of permutations for that so like there is a direct formula for these kind of scenarios i mean in this case the formula is this 14 factorial divided by 8 factorial and 6 factorial okay so yeah this is the direct formula i mean you must have also studied this in high school but again let me explain you like how we arrived to this formula so you can think about this like this like let's say uh, as i said like you can assume that we have a have we have this basically rectangular strip which has 14 slots okay this strip exact has exactly 14 slots now let's say that uh, in how many ways you can choose like any eight slots from it so uh, the number of ways in which you can choose eight slots from a strip which contains 14 slots is slots is this 14 c8 right because we can choose any eight slots and then we can permute the character u in that so in how many ways we can permute it that is only one because i mean all eight slots will are going to contain those u characters then we are left with the six slots we have to choose all those six slots and permute the character r so that will be again one only because that would be what six c6 multiplied by one so as we know like n c r is actually n factorial divided by what r factorial multi n minus r factorial right so this Thing, what it comes out to be it will come out to be this only 14 factorial divided by 8 factorial into 6 factorial as i said okay and you can also think about this like this that uh, we have this 14 slots and we can let's try to first permute the character uh, r in it which has only six occurrences so we can choose any six slots from it so that would come out to be 14 c6 
and there is only way to permute character r on in those six slots and then we are left with eight slots we have to choose all those eight slots because we have eight characters which are u and then we can permute u in them all of them in only one possible way so this will come out to be what 14 c6 and this is this 14 c6 is exactly equal to 14 c8 okay because this also comes out to be 14 factorial this thing 14 factorial divided by 8 factorial into 6 factorial okay so to generalize this let's say if we had m cross n grid okay let's say we had m cross n grid so in that case our total number of paths would have been this uh, m plus n cm which is also equal to m plus n cn okay and i have already explained what ncr is n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial okay so this is our total number of paths like 14 factorial divided by 8 factorial into 6 factorial this will come out to be let me write it here again uh, that these are our total number of unique paths okay and this will come out to be i think 3003 now let's try to find what are the favorable number of paths like of the total number of paths how many paths are going to pass through the center of the grid so you can actually think about uh, this uh, particular problem as the sub problem of the original problem okay so how this is a sub problem let's actually see two grids in this so one grid is this okay this is a four cross three grid and another grid is this one so to find the paths which pass through the center of the grid what you can do is that you can count all possible ways in which you can reach from this source to this midpoint multiplied by all possible ways you can reach you can basically go from this midpoint to the destination okay so as i said this is a four cross three grid both of these are four cross three grids so that would come out to be like this only if we if we use this formula which this generalized formula which i had told you so we have a 4 cross 3 grid that is 7 so basically our m here is 4 and n here is what 3 so this will come out to be what 7c 4 you can say and i think this quantity should come out to be 35 uh, because we have what 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial 3 factorial and that is 7 into 5 and yeah that is 35 only okay so there are 35 possible ways in which you can go from this red dot to this brown dot which is the middle uh, midpoint of this grid and another 35 possible ways from which you can go from this brown dot that is from the center of the grid to this to your destination okay so favorable number of outcomes are this uh, yeah or you can say favorable number of paths are 35 into 35 which is 1225 so your probability that is p comes out to be 1225 divided by 3003 yeah mm, i think that was all i had for this particular video thank you guys for watching please do not forget to like subscribe and comment and i will see you all next time